Hello again fellow modelers Armando here and I am back with another update on my Enterprise D clear kit build and yes your eyes do not deceive you my nacelles are open and you probably guessed it I couldn't stand to have the nacelles and the ship build without any nav lights in the back especially since when I looked at uh, the board from Ralph it provided for navigation lights in the back and that really upset me so I set about analyzing ways of doing this I had suggestions uh, one from Greville who uh, suggested uh, creating orifices and uh, closing them with canopy glue and using the ambient light from the inside of the nacelle and that's okay I guess the problem is the light would have been blue and if I tried to make it white I would have had to have painted the canopy glue or little uh, light bits that I put there in yellow so as to create white light and I wasn't willing to do that so I began to analyze ways of taking these things apart and I got lucky because I noticed a couple of days ago that the starboard nacelle actually needed to be glued more firmly because it had not cured completely so I was able to simply pop it open without too much of an issue the port nacelle was another story I uh, I asked Chris Whitford about uh, the freezing technique and he explained you put it in the freezer for two hours and then you go and uh, pop the, uh, the joints and that's exactly what I did uh, after two hours I took it out it was sitting like this and uh, I took a screwdriver put it in here and twist it and lo and behold it simply popped very easily so with minimal damage to the structure of the ship or anything I've been able to open up both nacelles and now I'll be able to put my nav lights in and I'll be happy so how will I do it you ask well, the kit that Ralph sends provides tiny LEDs. If I can find them, I'll show them to you. Let's see, where are they? Where are they? I had them here a few minutes ago. Here we go. So he provides six tiny LEDs. These, these are, I think these are 1.5s. I'm going to test them out to see what the color is, but I believe they're going to be warm white, which is what they should be from the shots of the ship that show the nav lights. Now, these are small enough that I can probably poke them through and use them as the nav lights, but I'll have to see. I believe I have some parts left over from my NX-01 and yes I do which might be serviceable for that if not I'll figure something out with some transparent sprues I'll look through my stash there but basically what I'll do is I'll drill a hole somewhere here and here careful with the wires obviously I'll put my uh, either LEDs or transparent sprues there, glue the LEDs and then I'm going to have to rewire the whole thing because obviously I can't get new wire through now the way I wired this is this blue strip had a pair of wires that fed it and went down this way and the red LEDs for the Bassard collectors had their own pair of wires which fed them and exited through here so what I will do is I will cut these wires and then wire both strips into one of the pairs in parallel leaving me with a free pair that I can now use to wire both LEDs in parallel um, sounds simple right? <laughs> well the, the issue is going to be I don't have a lot of wire here but I guess I'll solder it and put some uh, some shrink wrap on it to protect it and insulate it otherwise I might get shorts in there and uh, I'll do the same with the other side 
Uh, of note, you can see the trenches that I created when I was narrating earlier in my previous video how I uh, fixed the problem I had there. Now we can conveniently see them. So that's my plan. Um, I still haven't sanded that. i got to do that as well. But I decided to focus on the navs and the nacelles. Now, the diagram from Ralph provides for LEDs, as you can see, in the superior posterior aspect of both nacelles, as well as it seems here on the bridge, I'll have to see, and inferiorly two LEDs posteriorly, but nothing down here, but I have seen in several shots of the ship that it has a nav light here as well, a strobe nav light. So what I'll do is, since Ralph provides so graciously provides six LEDs, I will drill a hole for one here as well, and I'll put a nav light, uh, strobe light in here. Now the only question that remains is, does this ship even have red and green navs on the sides? I don't believe it does. I'll go back to my shots of the ship and check it out to make sure. I think I think it just has these two red and green lights back here. I, I don't believe... I'll have to go back and see. But at any rate, there's no provision on this board for uh, blinking red and green navs, so we'll be doing the strobes. Anyway, I, uh, as usual, complicated my life uh, by adding another layer of uh, work to this, but uh, I guess I'm just obsessive compulsive about it. I'm just glad I was able to pop these two things off without uh, too much of an issue. It was actually rather easy. Um, so that's my progress so far, and I'll keep you up to date. Talk to you later. Okay, I'm back, and I've gone ahead and drilled the holes in the nacelles. And as you can see, more or less corresponding to each other, and I rummaged through my leftover pieces from the NX-01 and I knew I had these because the uh, Tenet Controls kit came with its own beacon lights painted in green and red, so I happen to have about six of these small size beacon uh, parts, clear parts, and two of the larger ones, which I won't be using for this. Uh, I've already fitted one in here now. I'll push it in some so it doesn't look too out of proportion in the, the cell, but that should do the trick very nicely. So I'll glue them in and then I'll get myself some uh, probably three millimeter LEDs uh, and I'll glue them in place and um, block them off with uh, some black paint probably or white paint so that they don't uh, bleed onto the, the chiller grills. Um, and uh, I'll probably be using warm white instead of the cool because I think it just looks better. I'll save the cool whites that came with a kit for possibly the Iron Man model that I'm thinking of doing. Um, anyway, uh, I'll be back uh, with more details after I've glued all these in. Okay guys, I'm back and I have the four beacons in place. Show them to you. There. And there. And I sanded the diamond, them down on the top so that they have a more dome like appearance and not so pointy. So. Next step is getting the LEDs in place. So that'll come up next. See you soon. Okay, I'm back and uh, I have really had to become inventive here to pull this off. Um, 
the four three millimeter LEDs that I had I burnt out mainly because I think I wired the resistors too close together and that didn't work so then I wired up two five millimeter LEDs which you can see right here they're all bent up this one is anyway but then I realized these things are not going to fit in here they're too big so then I turned to SMDs I happen to have four warm white SMDs left so that means I gotta go buy more gotta order up more here are the other three these things are tiny and they are very bright I've already placed one in the starboard nacelle on the bottom part and uh, in order to light block it I had to test to see if the tulip paint would be conductive and fortunately it's not so I wrapped white tulip paint around the sides so that it would reflect the blue from the blue LED strip into the blue chiller grills without causing a problem there and then I dumped some black one on top to block light that was coming through there and the result is I have my very nice very bright beacon in the bottom and when you look at the side you don't see any any real light leak of significance in fact the thing is so small has such a low profile that it doesn't even come ab above the uh, the hull of the nacelle that half so now I'm going to repeat the process with this one then I'm going to wire them up I've already rewired the uh, LED strips and they work perfectly well I uh, wired the red and the blue LED strips in parallel and put them through a pair of these wires these tapes are no good I'm taking them off I'll probably try and use some shrink wrap to get this insulated and now I have these two that I'm gonna hook up the two SMDs to now the good thing about the SMDs is they have resistors built in or chips anyway so I don't have to worry about that and that's even more space savings for me uh, I'm glad I thought of this towards the end I forgotten I had these things otherwise I wouldn't have been able to do this so that's what I'm doing. More to come later. Okay, here's the uh, next SMD. As you can see, they're very bright. Let me turn off the power so you can see it off. Uh -huh. the zoom kind of kills the focus. Let me see how close I can get so you can see the details. It's basically a microchip. Oh, that's about as close as we can get. I uh, went ahead and glued the wire around and it's protruding through here and receiving the power for the test. Um, now I'll place the uh, tulip glue around it to light block it like I did with this one. All right. Starboard in a cell is sealed up. I got everything wired in. And uh, as you can see, the beacons in the back are working nicely. So is the blue chiller grills and the buzz buzzard collectors. And let me turn off the lights so you can see. Now, I am a little concerned about the brightness of the strobes. I've been looking through my stash of resistors, but I haven't found one that really tones it down. These two SMDs do have built-in resistors in them, and yet they are still bright. Of course, there's a little overexposure with this camera, but they still look fairly bright. It'd be nice if I could just tone them down a little bit. I'm going to have to look through my resistor some more and see if I can find one that will actually do that. If not, I'll just have to accept their brightness. But uh, all in all, I think the effect is pretty pretty cool. Uh, once everything's hooked up to the board and they're, they're blinking, it'll be even nicer. But considering that I had these things already sealed up and I ended up having to open them up again and <laughs> installing this, I think... Uh, 
this is a success story so now I got the other one to work on but uh, it's late I think I'll do that tomorrow but for now I think I'll end this uh, update and that way you guys can see what's going on okay take care